So, I have uh, three whistles. I have a, a hard blowing Goldie Alto A. I have a uh, MK Alto A. And then I just got this one in. This is a, a Reveal Alto A. So I have, um, it has the, the whistle head, the small whistle head. He, sell, he sells a, a small whistle head and a large whistle head. Uh, and so then you have bodies, I think it goes down to a, an E before it switches over to the larger head. And then you have the E flat, the D, uh, he gave me a D flat body and then a low C on the larger whistle head. So this one is the, I have an A, a G, an F, and then the, and the E body for this one. So I'll be doing videos for those later, but I'm gonna show how these compare. So I will start, let me tuck these under so that they can be kind of warming up a little. <clears throat> I'll start with the Goldie. And I just cleaned out the Goldie head, uh, which which helped with the, uh, the bell note. Um, on this one, it was getting kind of where the bell note wouldn't sound, it was kind of, kind of gravelly. And uh, so I thought in order to have a fair comparison, I should clean it out. So I, I uh, sanded down a popsicle stick and put some you know, my white toothpaste on it and I, and I uh, cleaned out the windway. Uh, I got some of the aluminum oxidation out of there and, and polished the FIPL block and stuff, the things that, that Colin Goldie recommends that you do. Uh, and it's improved the sound uh, a lot. It's a lot cleaner sounding now. So anyway. These do have to be warmed up very well. Okay. So this is, was uh, supposed to be my Brian Finnegan whistle because he plays a Hard blowing A and in uh, his album Ravishing Genius of Bones and a lot of his uh, performances and I really like the sound of it so I was trying to go for that with this uh, whistle purchase. All my other goldies are medium blowers. There we go.
some of these. If you'll notice, uh, I don't know if you can see from there, but this one, because uh, Maurice Reviol uses a single whistle head for multiple whistles, uh, and most, most manufacturers in increase or decrease the tubing size as the whistles um, go up or down, uh, like the smaller, the, the higher the whistle, generally the smaller the tubing, uh, they try to find like an optimum bore ratio. Uh, Mr. Reviol said that he thought this one was a little bit too large, but the wide bore gives it more resonance on the bottom end. It favors the bottom end, and that's kind of something that I haven't liked about uh, either of these whistles is that on the bottom end, uh, it it's not it doesn't it just doesn't have as much presence. It's not resonant enough for my liking. Now, on the top end, uh, I think that the MK uh, is very nice on the top end when you go up to the you go. Some I can hear it feel it hurts my ears a little bit uh, in in some indoor environments and here it's just a little bit. <laughs> right there on those top um, those last two notes, it's a little bit too loud. But when I go outside and play it, uh, it's fine. So there's there are soprano D's that that still hurt my ears when they're outside, and so this one is is more mellow than them. And it's also got compare that to this. see there's some differences uh, so far I'm really happy with uh, just about all the whistles that he sent me and it's been fascinating um, because he hasn't because of the the way you can see how the same head affects multiple bodies um, and the reason I got some extra bodies because there was there was an issue with the there's a delay in the order and and so it was kind of a nice thing that he did just throwing in some extra bodies for me so I am very pleased because I have a complete set of Reviol whistles and I will be doing more videos to show, to compare them all.